Well, hello, and welcome back, future viewers. Welcome back to Loading Screens. I've done a little bit of organizing and decision making between now and the previous video. In particular, I've decided to make good on my decision to kind of retire Ginny so he doesn't steal any more experience from other people. And if I'm gonna do that, let's remove that blazing axe of his and let's give it to someone else properly in our own kingdom I know that is nationalism and I do not like nationalism but in video games Sometimes you don't have a choice. Well, I think for this character, the Blazing Axe works best. Although I should find someone to equip the Conflicting Axe as well. And since the Berserker line has lower defense than average, this Mithril Male also seems like a good idea. But I think that's enough. Anyway, he doesn't have a shield. I wonder... Might it be worth it? No, no it wouldn't. I should save that shield block helmet for when I pr can promote someone into a knight. Well, I'm moving our level 10 monk over here to make sure that I at least have three rune knights to defend against whatever they send. And Ginny is also leaving his monsters behind. I don't know exactly how I'm going to distribute them just yet, because the monk certainly will not be able to handle them all. But, perhaps once I get more rune knights I'll be able to work that out a little bit more smoothly. I also did a little bit of summoning. Last time I talked about possibly fishing for mana miracles. And I've done some of that, but not all that I intend to. In particular, I summoned a mana miracle rock. And since I was fairly lucky with getting one of those early, I decided to also go for a Mana Miracle High Dog, and I got that. But that's the less exciting stuff. Since I still have a good amount of mana reserves left, I thought I'd try gambling for a dragon on camera. So, prepare your good luck or bad luck charms and incantations depending on which outcome you think would be better or funnier. And let's start rolling them monster dice. Uh, unfortunately, it all has to be increased. Having a neutral stat in there does not count. In theory, the easiest Mana Miracle monster should be the Golem, because 
it only has hit points, strength, and agility as possible dice rolls. Whereas a unit like a dragon has everything. Although in theory, in theory, so does the dog. Hmm. So I wonder, as I mentioned in the video description, whether the probability is dependent on the monster rather than the number of stats. If that's the case, I would not be the slightest bit surprised if dragons were among the least likely among... Probably dragons, giant snakes, angels, and demons would probably be the least likely. I will run my mana reserves into the ground, whether this succeeds or not. Well, okay, if I succeed, I'll stop early, of course. But I do... I do indeed have to clear up some room. Sorry guys, you are not mana perfection and therefore you are going away. If I do pull this off, probably my next target will be a Mana Miracle Demon. Since those tend to use all of their stats, it seems rather a rather favorable thing to pull. This is, of course, several turns of mana reserves, but at this point, what else am I going to do with it? Oh dear. I'll give it one more try because I think I should have at least a few scraps in case of an emergency next turn. And nothing doing. Well, it was worth a try. I wish you could re remove several monsters at a time, but I guess... It's understandable that the game would not allow such a thing. I am curious about something, though. Which is... Even adding all those dragons did not really... affect my upkeep all that much. But let me check my my income versus my my upkeep. Yeah, that's a lot of upkeep. I can only guess that upgraded mas monsters have a much higher upkeep than normal ones. But, you can't really... Well, okay, it's pro there's probably uh, someone undergoing a no-promotion challenge as I speak, but... In this playthrough, I am not going to ignore promotions. Actually, someone's probably going to try a no-monster run at some point. I wish them luck. It's probably possible. Well, as stated before, this is my next target. 
And to do that, my plan is to move Adu over there. Wherever he may be. Ah, there you are. And of course I'll have to move someone else over back there to take his place, but that's fine. I think the other two can easily handle any attack from over here. Still, in, in the interest of having the correct number of defending rune knights, let's have Yuki go over. I think his setup is good enough for even difficult defense. And for quests, I seem to have arranged for that already. So, I will pass the turn, and next turn I'll have... Oh yes, I, I decided to take a chance to see if Sophie uh, could possibly get enough experience to get that last level. I don't exactly know what the probability of a good outcome is when you have a low level class but a uh, personal level higher than 9. I guess we're about to find out. And it's gonna be, a, I think, she'll probably reach level 10 this next turn and he has a little ways to go yet. Well. Enough explanation. Let's go for it. Let's go for passing the turn without attacking anything. Sorry, guys. But once everyone uh, around here gets enough experience to feasibly participate in battle, I should have the manpower to move along here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is going to be our first defensive mission, and it's not looking great for us. Especially because of this guy. I do not expect him to do much. Ah, uh, they were smart. They, are, they attacked before I could move the good monsters onto him. Oh dear, if I lose this castle, all of those monsters might be captured. That would be quite the problem. Alright. Well, I think I know how to handle this. The reason that I tend to not to pull maneuvers like this is also kind of the general weakness of pincer attacks, which is they're great if you outnumber the enemy two to one. But if you don't outnumber the enemy two to one, they can turn on one of the halves and crush them with force of numbers. If I can make that work, I should be able to win this pretty handily.
The positioning is going to be a little tricky. I'll need... They'll, they'll probably come out around here. And I'll need to... Well, there's actually more space than it looks because of all these meadow tiles. And I do have some flyers, so I should be able to manage it. I may have to overextend a little bit to achieve the results I'm looking for. But if I can crush their monsters fast enough, I should be able to surround and beat that uh, assassin, I think. Yeah, that, that assassin, even though he's quite high level. Because I do have some attacks that never miss. I'm going to have to rely on that pretty heavily. I don't think they can reach that. But I better double check. Right, that's going to be its... It's going to be in its favorite terrain. That's a good move on their part. I do have access to a couple of holy words if things get really bad. But I'd like to save at least one for the other side, just in case... Just in case getting rid of this unit doesn't cause the others to retreat. Oh, they're being a little reserved. That is not the move to take when I'm... When I'm doing what I am doing right here. You're gonna need to move more than two tiles, my friend. That might get in the way a bit. So, would a pull along against these two be a good idea? I think so. I might be able to concentrate a little bit. It's also a safer move. The only thing is, it is a green unit, and my blue units are weak to it. But, that's the hand I'm dealt, I guess. gonna have to go over here and you might get paralyzed it's gonna be a little messy
Hmm. So they're probably gonna heal the man eater. But I can't think of any better moves right now. I mean, it's best if I get them to use their healing on squishier units, I think. Alright, so I need to move pretty carefully here. I don't see any line attacks on their part, so I think I can safely go over here with him. No wait, no, I think it might be better to have this one move over for frost castings. Like, actually, this is probably the best move if I can put something in front of him. But I don't think I can. So I'll just have to go over here and hope they send something to attack the lizard man. Yeah, I think I kind of confused them. They were clearly not expecting this. Well, how could they? Wow. Worked on a rune knight, huh? Well, that was very unfortunate for me. Yeah, Dimension is a little bit overpowered. Hey, wait, did she move and then cast? I think that's what happened. Let me check her skills. Maybe that's how it works. Hmm. Oh yeah, I, I see. She cast, then moved. Alright, effectively works out the same way. That, that was fairly smart on their part. Alright, so how many times can she do that? Because... Oh yeah, several. Ah, Dimension is a very scary spell. I think I'm gonna have to just back off to the castle now. So I'm gonna lose the benefit of that uh, splitting them up. Man, that was a very good cast of theirs. I wonder what the chances were. Probably high because I don't think my rogue had very good magic defense. Yeah, it's gonna be a couple of turns. At least he wasn't thrown into the middle of a forest.
の教えを実践する時が来た。Oh, uh, hi, Coffee Potato. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Well, since I'm going to make use, if since I'm going to move to the castle, I might as well make use of its healing. I definitely want to leave that tile free, because the lizardman really needs it. I admit, if it was me, I probably would have used Dimension on a Golem, because there's no way it would have returned to the battle in time. But on the other hand, looking at it from this point of view, the Rune Knight uh, did definitely shake up my formation a lot more. Though, yeah, I've pretty much recovered from it at this point. It's very helpful. Well, that's not gonna hit, but, 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 I might be able to pull something off because of that. So, what can I do with this? First of all, I should heal that golem. I think it's a bit early to use uh, Holy Word. Probably next turn. That is some very impressive evasion. I think I might I might just have to do something risky here. Hmm.
So how much damage would that do? I know that she's triple dark. Hardly any? No, yeah. Man, that's a white, white spell too. I might actually not be able to beat her. I might have to just beat up everything else around her. That's, that's very scary. I mean, I know Holy Word is not a power spell, but still. Yeah, I might just have to pass and wait for the others to move forward. Well, let's see her other skills. I think I might actually prefer it if she used Fatal fatal Darkness on this Bronze Golem. I mean, it's not a level 1 Golem, but still, it's more expendable than anything else I've got, pretty much. Well, with the possible exception of this Mermaid. I wonder if Drawtrek just plain does not work on Rune Knights. Oh, I guess it does. And with that, I can technically surround her if I want to. Does that actually allow me to hit her, though? That might not be the case. Well, it does. I'll have to be careful with that. But it might be my only chance here. He moves next. I will definitely be able to cast Frost. And it, it'll be weak, but uh, I would also be able to throw out Holy Word. Yeah, I think I'll have to go all in on this. I don't really see another way to pull it off. Probably gonna lose my lizard guard though. But that's exactly what I need, if I understand this correctly. No, not you. This one. And that holy word ought to do it. Come on. There we go. Yep, definitely. Well, 
Well, let that serve as a lesson. Even if your rune knight is amazing, you probably sh should not send it to the front line alone against the entire enemy army. And with that, I should definitely move this golem over here so that maybe the lizardman won't get ganged up on quite so much. Hmm, what level are you? Oh yeah, right, you're the level 8 one. But hey, actually, I don't have to worry quite so much. Because now... I'll have the room to heal... Yeah, that's not gonna work on that golem. Yeah. Ooh, nice choice of target. Oh, you heal in a forest, probably. Oh, you didn't gang up on my lizard guard. Well, that's good news for me. Well, time to throw out some of that healing. This is a bad position for a holy word. But a good position for healing. Time to throw out some surrounding action. Ooh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I better heal this one. And now we're in a little bit of a pinch for space around here, but I should be able to handle it. So I guess the pull only pulls the frontmost enemy. That would explain a lot, but it hits all three of them. This is going to be tricky. I'll, I'll lose the surround if I... No, no, I won't actually lose the surround if I do that. So, good news for me. Wyverns are a considerable portion of a unit, so that's good news for me. And let's see, do you have a heal left? Actually, yes you do, so I can leave you here.
Ah, oh, that's awkward. That is unfortunate for sure. So what kind of movement am I looking at if you move back? Hmm, it'll be easier for them to kill my sea serpent, which I definitely don't want. Yeah, for these guys, I think it's better to not move. No worries. Oh, you're out of MP, but it, it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh yeah, the golem, of course, doesn't care. I think moving him over here would be a good idea, actually because it'll give the Serpent Room to fire breath upwards if the battle goes that way. Oh my. I, I know I called the Shinobi uh, Nation... Leonia remix, but I didn't know that the ruler actually had holy word. Well, that that certainly hurts. The problem is I don't really have a good way to focus down any of their uh, frontliners. Well, I, actually I can start with this rock since um, tail chain should do good damage here. And follow that up with frost. Let's see, do you have another? Oh, you actually have quite a few holy words. All right, I'm gonna have to be aggressive here. Provided that I can hit, yeesh. And I wouldn't even deal that much damage? Whoa. I don't think I've seen such a durable holy word user. And you are out of MP already. And moving this golem over here also disrupted my uh, triple pull. Wait, wait, no, wrong thing. Yeah, I might have to focus on him, but I, I have an element weakness. So that's going to be tricky as well. Whoa, you actually... <laughs> I thought that her evasion was uh, so good because her favorite terrain was forest, but no, it's, it's not. Scary, scary. Hmm, 
would this be a good idea? Actually, it might. It very well might. I wonder if it, if it counts uh, as being on forest if a unit is flying. Let me just double check. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it still counts as being on prairie even though its favorite terrain is sky. Oh, it was worth a thought. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to start hitting him. It's not going to be easy. But I don't know how else I'm going to handle it. Something's been cutting my accuracy through the entire battle. So I really need this front line to stay up for a while longer. He probably won't be able to hit. Yeah, that's not happening. Actually, Halo might have been a better move, now that I think about it. Actually, look. Is he... is he flying? No, he just has this evasion up skill. Okay. I guess that's kind of their thing. I was thinking about what else might cause such a low accuracy, and turns out that's it. Does she have it too? No. Okay, I just don't get it then. I don't know why my accuracy against her is reduced by that much. Or 
Actually, no, never mind. It's not a... Well, it's not as much of a problem with her. It's just that her defense is uh, very high. That might be exactly what I needed, actually. Well, it depends. It depends on whether I can reach him and what I can reach him with. Well, he did surround himself, so there's that. Huh. I mean, that, that move has a benefit and a drawback for me. So Water Breath is definitely not going to do the kind of damage that I need. Man. I wish, uh... I wish there was some way... Well, I might have to do something really drastic here. That'll deal 90-something damage. So, if this hits, it will be enough to finish him off. I think I still have some healing on my side. I have one healing spell left. That'll have to do. Man, I feel bad doing this. But I can't think of another way to do it. If I missed there, that would have been exceptionally bad. Hopefully that's enough to convince her to retreat, because if it's not, I'm not sure how I'm going to take her down. Her defense is just so ridiculously high. I have one more frost left, but I think I should wait on that. But hey, I can get free healing from the castle still, and that might be what I need to turn things around. Wow. This is not a good day for my lizard guards. Oh, 
Alright, well, I guess uh, this will have to go down next. And I didn't even deal any permanent damage to them. I mean, being the rune my knights is good, but they can just come back with the same monsters and give me some trouble. do not quite know how to handle this. Do I have another... Yeah, I have another water breath. That'll have to be part of it. be a better idea to kill the imp while I can. Yeah, I think I'll do that. This is risky, but I don't think I have a choice about it. Alright, killing the imp was enough. Man, that was brutal. Well, I guess that's the first battle where I've taken significant losses. Although I guess it's not all bad. Uh, well, my Rune Knights gained three levels. Uh, that was very opportune on their part. <laughs> and anytime I think that, hey, I may have taken worse losses than I had to, I just have to watch what happens in AI battles. I'm being attacked again. Okay. And here I was hoping for a fairly peaceful turn. It was not to be. Time to learn how to use Umimaru, I guess. I might be able to catch them at the bridge, actually. Oh, do we have a special interaction here? Oh, 
敵軍へ警告武装解除推奨武装解除何を言うこの無知で可愛がってあげるわ友好的発言権<笑>可愛がる、うん、愛情表現愛情表現な何を言ってるの覚悟しなさいとことん可愛がってあげる <laughs> uh, I love the change in music too. I was not expecting this. Alright, well, before I try catching them at the bridge, I need to think about how far I can go and whether it's feasible to reach the river before they do. Hmm. It's gonna be tricky. Oh, we've got an enemy berserker here as well. I don't think it's going to use the same strategy that I do. It, right. That's a strange way to talk about. A guy like that. Well, let's line up our breath weapons, shall we? Well, if I handle this right, the bridge should slow them down so I only have to fight one or two of them at a time. Alright, so how can I place my units from here? Yeah, I think this should work. Actually, it might be better if I don't. I also noticed that I don't have any healing, so I'd better really exert force with what I've got here. Well, okay, Umimaro has healing, but only for himself. I was hoping you would do that. Right, so I don't have a good line attack going from here, but let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to save my curse for when he approaches, because 
I'll need some pretty hefty firepower to spike him down. Hmm. That is tempting. That is very tempting. And now that I think about it, they don't have much healing either. But, but... But I think a little restraint is in order. So, yeah, I sh if I'm even a little bit smart about how I do this, I should be able to take down the wyvern. Well, either a little bit smarter or a little bit lucky, anyway. How many curses do I have? Actually, Venom might be enough. Yeah, I only have one curse, but I can I think I can spare a venom. And no wait, no, I have two curses plus a venom or two. And I think that'll work nicely. Yeah, it's worth the risk. If it doesn't work, I can water breath. Ooh, nice! It was worth the risk. And just like that, they run in with another one. Let's see. Uh oh. That is a problem for sure. All right, well, let's stay calm. Do I have any sirens here? Do I have any form of spell break at all? Actually, yes, I believe I do. Yeah, she has spell break. So it's going to be very important for me to move her over and debuff the Berserker. Also, might it be a good idea for me to pull either of them out of position? Actually, I can possibly pull off a surround here. Oh no, no. And that's a lizard guard, so I better be careful with that one. Hmm. I'm thinking that my other, my other uh, ranger might have been unusually strong. No, no, actually that's fine. 
Actually, that pulled the Lizardmen out of the aura, I think, so that seems like a good move to me. No, wait, no, it's just, it's just surrounded. Still, still, that's pretty good. Well, what order should I do this? Probably the order that doesn't allow a counter-attack. Provided that this does 60 damage. But it should, yeah. Well, that's interesting. I can also surround that wyvern, and I think it might not be a bad idea, because I don't think they can counter-surround me. Myself to get too reckless. I need to check the range of Spellbreak 3, huh? So she'll have to be fairly far forward. I definitely don't want her to get hit by a curse, though. A lot depends on where he moves. Okay, uh, I think that's what I'm looking for. Right, so I can hit three targets with the beam, and I think I should do that. Oh, restores own MP by 100. For some reason I thought that it restores your own HP, but I guess, yeah, what what's happening here makes a lot more sense. Alright, so which way should I aim? Yeah, I think it's best to finish off the wyvern and start damage on that dragon. I'll probably have to back off my own wyvern to the castle. You will have to wait to do something until next turn, I think. Ooh, that's actually tricky. No wait, no it's not. I can shoot it. Hooray for shooting. And it might not be a bad idea for me to level him up if I can. So how much uh, damage does that do? 70-something, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a little risky, but I don't see a better way to handle it. Well, technically there is a better way. It's the way that doesn't allow me to level up my centaur so easily, but I, I think I'd rather just do that and not risk losing a, a monster. Well, have a lower risk anyway. Well. Oh. I guess I just got a piece of gear. So that's two enemy wyverns down. So far, so good. I don't think you're about to Geno Flame. That'll be at least one turn later. Oh, nice. Okay, that suddenly makes things a fair bit easier. Decent answer to the situation now. Hey. Hello there. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I don't exactly know if the damage numbers add up, but... But... It's potentially a very strong advantage here. I don't think either of them will do quite enough damage to finish off the sorceress, so I need to think carefully about who else might be able to hit her. I don't think anything she can field would be able to do it. But an arrow from him might be able to, and he does move before she does, so I think that's my ideal move. Yeah, definitely. Or it could, it could have been a crit, but that's okay. I'm willing to accept that. And hey, I got a, another lizard guard. Hooray! Okay, so let's not surround myself. That would be silly. Yeah, you definitely need to rest back here. So I finally got a chance to learn how spell break works. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be a percent chance thing. That's very good to know.
And since they're attacking her a lot, I think Protect would be in order. Well, it won't deal much damage, but a Paralyze would be very useful here. It would be, wouldn't it? Uh, unfortunately, I can't pin down the dog, but that's okay. I don't think they can heal it either. Whoa, already? <laughs> Wow, just hang her out to dry, huh? As for whether a demon or a centaur is more difficult to level... Well, a demon requires a lot more experience and this, sor this sorceress is looking very tasty. Quite a bit, wasn't it? So, what's the next move? Well, there's not much left to do, I think. <laughs> I, I, I like that, that movement sound right there. Man, both of his attacks are very good. I can't imagine them not retreating after that. Well, let's see if I can finish off that centaur. Well, I was able to get a kill for my centaur after all. Well, a much smoother battle than the last one. That one was super scary. Well, after all, I was able to get some experience for this team. And Urumaro is very fun to use. I just... I don't know. If I, if I had known, I might have made him part of my offensive team and had someone else guarded the border, although he did do a very good job of border defense, to be fair. Legend of Forsena. For Ooh, I got the result I was looking for with Sophie. 
there we go. Now she's going to be a cleric. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. I'll have to think about how I uh, do my promotions after that. So. Now that all that is done, and I'm no longer in uh, danger of a horrifying loss, I can figure out how I'm going to arrange these troops. So I have more healing than I almost know how to use here. Look at that, I even have a spare lizard guard here. Or high lizard man, but you get the idea. But you know what, I want to try out this iron golem. Yeah. This is a much better lineup than I had before. Oh, and I captured a Mandrake. That's actually going to be very useful uh, on this forest map, now that I think about it. Wow, that's a heavy monster. That is a very heavy monster. No wonder we're so strong. In... in... that... You know, I was thinking in old terms, like... In Forsenna and Grand Edition, Mandrake was kind of a joke, and it couldn't kill anything, really. But now I guess it's, it's different. I don't want a Pegasus. I don't like him. And I have one anyway, already. Well, I already have a Nightmare, but... Nightmares are just more versatile. Yeah, so this is going to be a little tougher for them to take down. <sighs> that was a close call, though. That was such a close call. And, well, I guess I have some rearranging to do, but before that... So what do I get? I, I knew I... Wait, area heal already? I mean, I knew I got Divine Ray, but I thought area heal wasn't until level 20. Well, today I learned. That that actually changes a lot. So she's definitely ready for fighting now. Oh yeah, I, I might as well give her the sorceress uh, thing as well. Although, I'm not going to work with that one just yet. I definitely want to permanently learn Divine Ray and Area Heal. That's going to be some good versatility. Uh, I, I need to consider whether or not I should send her into battle. I mean, just learning Halo doesn't strike me as being worth it. Especially because your intelligence is actually not as high as if you're a nightmare. But you know what? I'll I'll 
this is a game where I want to experiment. So you know what? I'll try it. I'll see if I can find good uses for the Halo spell. Because I did notice that enemy agility was a serious thing uh, when fighting the Shinobi tribe. And I might need a Halo to guarantee that a power attack hits. Yeah, as much as I'd like to make you an archer for good, you're gonna have to stay a dancer for a while longer. Actually, a, a lot longer. I'll have to learn a bit about how to best use a rogue. Because... Well, I don't have a choice if I want to get the cross class that I'm looking for. Evasion up seems like a very good skill, though, so it should be worth it. And I think that's it for now. Whew, that was exciting and a little humiliating, too. Yeah, when I was originally playing uh, the earlier games, I'm, I, can, I would probably reset if I lost promoted units. Although that part that was partially because raising them up in the first place was a, a little harder, no experience quests. But those are a limited resource, and I need to keep that in mind. Because I'm not always going to have. I mean, rude knights level up when you put them in the training grounds. So eventually I can't do that anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.